Do you know why scientists usually use electron microscope more compared to the light microscope to look at the cell structures? Let's find the answer. Today, we are going to learn about how to measure the cells, the light microscope, and the electron microscope. Before we learn about how to measure the cells, it is important to us to know about the unit of measurement. Thus, on the international systems of units, the basic unit of length is meter. Now, you can take a look at the gifts to look at the conversions of the meter to the millimeters, micrometers, and nanometers. As we will study about the light microscope and the electron microscope, it is important to us to know the difference between magnification and resolutions. Okay, so for example, when you take a photo with the phone and then you magnify or enlarge the pictures, but you see no more detail. Okay, so it means that when you magnify or enlarge the pictures, you do not improve the resolutions. So it means resolutions is different from magnification. So magnification is the number of times greater than an image compared to the actual objects. So the equation for, for the magnification can be shown here. Here is the example of the magnification equations. To answer these equations, the first step you need to do is to measure the scale bar, which is 36 millimeters. The second step, you need to convert the millimeters to micromillimeters because you need to have the same unit of length. The third step is you need to use the equations to answer the equations. So we got the answer, which is 6,000 times for magnification. After we discuss about magnifications, let's talk about resolutions. So I have said before that resolutions is different from magnifications. Resolutions is the ability to distinguish between two objects when close together. The higher the resolutions of an image, the greater the detail can be seen. Look at the electromagnetic spectrum here. You can see that the, the length of the visible light varies between 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Now, let's take a look at the raw diffuse specimen. So, the limit of resolutions is about one half of the wavelength of radiation used. Since the light microscope is using the light, the visible light, it means the shortest wavelength is 400 nanometers. Since it means that the limit of resolution of the light microscope is 200 nanometers because it's one half 400 nanometers. Since the limit of resolution of the light microscope is 200 nanometers, it means light microscope cannot be used to see any specimen smaller than 200 nanometers. Since the limit resolution of the light microscope is 200 mm, it creates the problem for the scientists because they cannot see any objects smaller than 200 mm. So the only solution is to use a shorter wavelength than 200 mm, which are the UV rays and X rays because they have a shorter wavelength. And it's hard to use the gamma rays because it's harmful. The microscope using X-rays and UV rays was later built, but faced a problem because of the difficulty of focusing X-rays and UV rays. So a better solution is using the electron. Electron is a negatively charged particle which orbits around the nucleus and of an atom. When a metal becomes very hot, some of its electrons gain so much energy and leave their orbits. So, the free electron behaves like an electromagnetic radiation and they have a very short wavelength. Electron is very suitable for the microscope because of two major reasons, which are first, their wavelength is extremely short, second, since they are negatively charged, they can be focused easily using the electron magnets. So using the electron microscope, a resolution of 0.5 nanometers can be obtained, which is 
400 times better than the light microscope. Look at this picture. This is a specimen seen under the light microscope and electron microscope. From this picture, you can see that the specimen seen under, under the electron microscope is much clearer than the light microscope. The reason is because the electron microscope has a better solutions than the light microscope. There are two types of electron microscope, which are transmission electron microscope or TAM and scanning electron microscope or SAM. The difference between TAM and SAM can be seen here. Look at this picture. So in this picture, there is a polling brain is seen under TAM and SAM. For TAM, you can see the internal compositions of the polling brain. Where for the stem, you can see you can only see the surface of the polymer. Now we can answer the questions: Why scientists usually use electron microscope more compared to the light microscope to look at the cell structures? It's because the electron microscope they have better resolutions than the light microscope, which is 400 times better than the light microscope. I think that's all for our lesson today. Don't forget to do the exercise and more on that one. See you later.